In a sudden turn of events and without a single tinge of irony or self-reflection, men are fed up with these newfangled standards of beauty being imposed upon them by society. I have to be in shape? I have to have a full head of hair? Six-pack abs? This is preposterous. Who has time for all of this? Kevin Butterton gave us a brief interview about how much his appearance affected his interviewing prospects after he graduated college. I mean, it was unbelievable. I felt so self-conscious, you know? Like, is this woman who's interviewing me really listening? Or is she just gonna hire another one from the girls club and pass me up because I'm a little hefty and I've maybe drank a few beers in my lifetime? Granted, I still got the job because I presented my male privilege card at the end, but still, no one should have to endure such scrutiny. Men have had it with society deeming that their flabby bellies, balding heads, and otherwise unsightly and utilitarian bodies are not good enough anymore. Faced with the prospect of exercising daily, maintaining a basic groomed image, and not smelling like the bottom of a dumpster, many men are opting to move to a back-to-basics male camp. Away from the impending demands of people, many men have joined this coalition of peace, love, and body positivity. The camp, flabby and tolerant, or fat for short, is a body-positive, male-only camp which encourages these men to relinquish the chains of a society that no longer values them. Being that this is completely unprecedented, a group of people being held to unrealistic beauty standards, the camp has at this time decided not to accept any females into the camp, because they couldn't possibly understand this plight that men face. A spokesperson for the camp, Jeffrey Tubbingsworth, camp leader and co-owner, has stated, when they send their women, they're not sending their best. They're sending people who have lots of problems. They're bringing their makeup, their salads, their KO juice, and some I assume are good people, but we don't know. We just don't know. Fat has stated that if unsightly, horribly obese men were to come to the camp, they would have to do so legally through a series of complicated legal processes. This involves a thorough screening of their religious backgrounds to see if they are not believers in skinny jihad and are willing to accept and acknowledge their newfound fat beliefs. Fat is a modern experiment that tries to ameliorate the rampant and unprecedented unfairness with which men must now face. Thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button for more short jabs every Wednesday. All essays are produced by a tiny wombat who resides in a small but elaborate underground tunnel. Goodbye.